Hi, I'm John Schnepp. I'm uh, the director of Metalocalypse. Listen, I know you guys are regular dildos and stuff, but you sell records, so this sh should make sense to your f ass, right? Yeah, it should. As well as a bunch of other uh, weird cartoons that you probably have seen or maybe not. Hi. Well, um, I was in the British Isle, so I was I got some stuff. Uh, Rich Fulcher is an incredibly funny guy that I knew back in Chicago. That's Jimi Hendrix, you idiot. It's all cool, man. So fucking what? Here, asshole, catch this. I bet you can't play Kumbaya. Ha <laughs> ha, I knew it. The stupid asshole's playing it upside down. I'm going to check this out. I haven't watched Snuffbox yet, but I've seen a bunch of his stuff in Mighty Boosh, so I'm going to check this out. My girlfriend, Holly, turned me on to The Fast Show. Now I think it's one or other of these pretty green ones. This one, I think. Looks like we uh, may be here for the duration, sir. Yes. Sort yeah. this. Anyone fancy a pint? <laughs> So I thought I would uh, get series one uh, of The Fast Show, which is incredibly funny. This, I was irritated to hear that this band just played last week and I hadn't even heard of them yet. I've been working on the third season of Metalocalypse and before that, I went and co-directed uh, the fourth season of Venture Brothers in New York. So I've been kind of living in this like weird sheltered animation existence. And so I just heard about this, like, hey, you haven't heard about this? Like the guys from Queen of the Stone Age? I was like, what? So uh, I'm buying it. I only heard like one track off this. So you guys think it's, have you heard it? Is it good? Mm -hmm. This is kind of an impulse buy. A bunch of people have been, tell been telling me to see Stunt Rock. This is Stunt Rock. It's superhuman. Super music. Super magic. You gotta see Stunt Rock. It's fucked up. It's a dude who does stunts and there's crazy music and it makes no sense. So I was like, I'll check it out. I'm catching up on some David Cronenberg. The last few that I don't have. Uh, Fast Company, which is a, I think it's just about car racing, which is one of the things that I hate most. All right, teens, queens, guys, and blue jeans, this is it. The world of the drag racer, fast cars, and fast company. Why don't you call me a lot? You're finished. Yeah, we're going to run that car, and you ain't going to stop us. Car racing is boring and stupid, and you go around in a circle all the time. But for all you car enthusiasts, rock out. I didn't see Pixar's cars just because it was about car racing. The uh, soundtrack to Brazil, which I always liked, is uh, now available for me to purchase, so I'm getting it. And then this is like my weird impulse buy because I really love Amon Amar. When I started working on Metalocalypse, I was more like a, a metal guy and not a death metal guy. And now I'm a death metal and metal guy. So, because I really love the music. So Amon Amarth is one of the most fantastic death metal bands that you can get into. And uh, their art is really cool too. It's very Viking, as you can see. So I, I bought this to frame like a retard, since I have it on CD. And I could have just printed this out, made some shit at Kinko's, but I don't, you know, this is like the real album, so I'm doing it. This is a series I heard about. It's called The Middleman. So you know how in comic books there's all kinds of mad scientists and aliens and androids and monsters? In comic books, sure. Well, it really does work like that. And you're the superhero? I never wear tights. It's a time-traveling, strange uh, series based in the 60s, I think. Maybe not, I don't know, but I'm gonna try it, you know. Underrated film, Crank 2. I and the other seven people in the theater were fucking cracking up. You Johnny Vang? Uh, it's fantastic. It's it's like a it's like watching a cartoon acid trip 
freak out, music video, action movie. It's insane. Saw this two years ago. I saw Anvil play there and I saw this documentary and it, it was mind blowing and I couldn't wait for people to see it and I'm so happy that they've gotten the respect that they deserve and it was a, uh, it's fantastic. Lips, you're awesome. What, what else can I say about the only film that has the nuts to rip on Scientology in a funny way? Um, what did this alien want from you? She wants to inhale my gonads. Say again? My gonads, my gonads. What they do is they come down and shake your hands. The aliens pretend they're shaking your hands, but they're not. They inhale your gonads and take them back to their world for special research. I see. Oh, and I did like you said, I got rid of the sports channel. I'm not gonna have no more encoded gamma beams from Jupiter messing with my line. <laughs> keep it together, keep it together. And it's also one of Eddie Murphy and Steve Martin's last amazingly funny movies. Bowfinger. If you've never seen it, it's also an indictment on Hollywood. It's incredible. It's one of the greatest films that a lot of people don't know about. On to some miscellaneous t-shirts. Totally awesome t-shirt. And I'm getting this one. And I cannot wait to see Antichrist. Yay! Mr. Wild Strawberries in the form of Iron Maiden. Unbelievable. Thanks for uh, having me over. Be